Hi everyone, this is Rick here and welcome to Digital Fortress. Today I'm going to do a power consumption test on Jormungandr, which is a Cardano node. So, uh, average watt is about 74.5 watts with Jormungandr turned off. Let me show you my setup here real quick, and then I'll fire up Jormungandr and take another measurement later on. So here's the setup. Over here, I have a Mac Pro server, 12 cores, 64 gigabytes of RAM, um, and I've got my Western Digital backup drive. It ha has nothing to do with this test. It's just the backup. I have a power meter here that measures watts and kilowatt hours, and I'm measuring the watts right now. Right now it's about it's 70.6, so it's a little bit below the average measurements that I was recently taking, and the typical measurement was 73.3, the average was 75.74.5, uh, and there's a little spike right there up to 94 where a process might have kicked off in the background. So that's basically what I'm doing, and I'm going to uh, run Jormungandr here uh, and kick it off. Let me wait for this to stabilize a little bit. That screensaver came on. You saw the power spike up. So I did some long-term testing over several minutes to establish a baseline average of 74.5 watts. The only device plugged into this power monitor is the Mac Pro server. And I'm going to launch a terminal. And from there, I'm going to launch Jormungandr. I'm going to let it sit for several minutes and stabilize. Then I'm going to check the power reading again to see how much power is the Jormungandr node as, a, as opposed to how much power is the entire server itself. So let's kick that off. So after letting this two pool instance run for a couple of minutes, there's no noticeable difference in the power. I think that's due to the fact that it's not processing a whole lot of transactions. It's not connected in the network. This is two, this is two nodes inside a box. Um, chatting with each other, not consuming a noticeable amount of power. It's barely even registering on this power meter. So I'm going to have to test this again with uh, Jormungandr networking once the networking is up and running and see if there's an increase in power consumption. I, I expect there will be. So in the meantime, let's launch an instance of um, Daedalus. Let's launch that baby. I just uh, clicked it here to launch it. See if the power consumption goes up, and it did. That's what I was expecting to see, is some sort of power consumption to occur as it kicks off. So I'll put that note here. It's connecting. It's going to need some time to sync. I haven't opened this. I opened this up earlier today, and it looks like it went from an average of about 70 watts. It's up to 138 watts starting up, 142. I'll give it a few moments sinking blocks yeah you can see that network connection and I can see the bandwidth kick up a little bit on the network monitor and once it finished sinking at around 130 watts ish it seems to have steadied out around 79 to 80 watts so Daedalus being a full node wallet, I would think there would be similar performance in a decentralized environment with more transactions going. I'm expecting a little bit more power consumption. So I'll need to do another one of these videos. Let's see, so for Daedalus here, it's averaging out around 78 to 81, up from an average of about 70.5. So you're looking at about nine watts roughly to run Daedalus, a couple of spikes there. But on average about 79, so about 8.5 watts, I guess, running that full node wallet. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll make another one once the uh, networking test net is running and see what kind of power consumption we're using here. Have a great day. Bye-bye.